going to take a little trip back in time. I need everybody to close their eyes. Okay, so I need you to imagine that um, you are at the Rio Olympics and you are swimming, jumping on the court, um, on the beach, whatever event you're in. You're in the championship match and the whole crowd is screaming for you and your family is in the front row rooting for you and you're about to win an Olympic gold. How exciting would that be? Okay, you can open your eyes. Um, this has been the life and the job of Carrie Walsh Jennings since 2000, and that's what I'm going to tell you about today. So, for the past week and a half, I've been researching her, and I've also been watching, following her in her beach volleyball career um, for the past couple of years. Today, I'm going to tell you about her um, childhood, her career accomplishments, and how she balances her life with her family. Bibliography by Bibliography.com editors of 2016 states that the Walsh Jennings was born in an athletic family. Her father played minor league baseball and her mother was named both most valuable player twice um, at her college collegiate career at playing volleyball at Santa Clara University. Um, Walsh Jennings was born in on August 15, 1978. She went to Archb Archbishop Mitty High School and she graduated in 1996. Um, in her sophomore year of high school, she actually got the autograph of Missy May Trainer, which both of them, neither of them knew that they would be partners in just a few short years. Um, she attended Stanford University and played volleyball there, and she was the second person in history to be named All-American all four years that she played at the university. In Gabriella Frank's 2016 interview on Today's Nutritionalist, she interviews Carrie Walsh Jennings on what it takes to be successful mentally and physically. Carrie states, it takes a lot of love. Um, and with her career, you have to have a lot of passion for what you do. Um, stated by writer Paul DiGiacomo in his article, Carrie Lee Walsh, Walsh Jennings uh, started her Olympic career off in 2000 uh, at the London, or the Sydney Olympics, excuse me, and they finished fourth overall. So that's kind of what started it all. In 2001, um, Carrie Walsh Shinnings uh, teamed up with Missy May Trainer on the sand beach volleyball, and they actually had 90 consecutive wins, so things were looking really promising when they went into the 2004 Athens Olympics. Um, they ended up winning gold, and their first um, they were the first female American team to win a uh, gold medal in beach volleyball. In 2005, she was kind of it was an accomplishment away from her career, and she got married to Casey Jennings. Um, in 2008, it was back to business at the Beijing, Beijing Olympics. Um, they won their or second consecutive gold title, and they, it was their 108th consecutive win and their 14th consecutive uh, Olympic win. In 2012, at the London Olympics, they won their third gold medal. After 2012, things changed because um, Misty May Trainer decided to retire, so Carrie needed another um, uh, teammate, and so she teamed up with Brooke Ross, or excuse me, April Ross, <laughs> and um, she, her partner was taking time off to have a baby. So they didn't live up to the last three Olympics. They uh, actually got bronze, but Carrie stated in one of her interviews that she uh, had no problem with bronze. So now that I've told you a little bit about her accomplishments, I'm going to tell you how she um, balances her life between family and her career. In Gabriella Frank's 2016 interview on Today's Nutritionalist, Walsh Jennings states she has three buckets. When her life seems off or she seems extra grumpy, she finds which, grumpy, which um, bucket needs a little more attention. Her three buckets are family, career, and faith. So, I mentioned her husband, Casey Jennings, and he is also a professional volleyball player. Um, Joseph is their oldest, and he was born in uh, 2009. Sundance is their middle, and she was born in 2010. And Scout, the youngest, was born in 2013. In 2015, Muscle and Fitness Herbs Magazine article 
example, Diana Kelly writes how Walsh Jennings keeps her body in check and how she handles life as a mom. Um, one of the big things that she really talks about in the article is, com is being comfortable, and she doesn't want her body to be comfortable because with her career, she really has to push herself to be the best that she can be. So there's always, um, she can always be healthier and she can always make a more intense, or do a more intense workout. Um, another, another aspect that she really believes is um, important is being feeling your body in the right way and um, putting the right nutrients in, in her body so she can, best, she can be the best that she can be. Um, and being a professional athlete and also being married to a professional athlete is very tough, and especially when they have three kids. So while shooting states in Diana's, Diana Kelly's article, since both of us are professional athletes, we must act as a team with our kids. And that's kind of her motto, and also um, surrounding herself with who is gonna make, uh, promote her career and really is gonna help her be the best is what, kind of her philosophy, so this is just a quote from her. Um, you can get through anything if you surround yourself with people who challenge you, support you, and inspire her, and, or inspire you, and that really is, um, part of everything that she talked about um, is surrounding yourself with the right people. So today I've told you about uh, the background of Carrie Walsh Jennings in her childhood, her uh, career accomplishments, and how she balances her life with between her career and her family. Thank you.